Hello there everyone, thank you for joining in. So yeah, uh, the beginning of like the Paper Mario adventure today. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining. The plan is, provided that everything goes well with the playthrough and everything, um, basically like a couple of hours every Thursday evening, Thursday night, um, I'm going to just like play some Paper Mario week by week. And that way, just like, we'll get through the game and I'm going to put like, um, the, like, you know, the archives and whatnot on YouTube so people can make sure they keep up. But yeah, I've never played this game, so, uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I've just heard for the longest time, like, yeah. Uh, oh god. Uh, but Lucas. I had the weirdest thing where, um, I am playing this on a GameCube. Um, and I've got it like through an adapter into a HDMI setting and stuff. But I had that thing where, like, yeah, because I'm playing on the GameCube, it was like, insert a memory card. There's no create, like, there's no save file created on the memory card. I was like, memory card, yeah. Oh, that was a thing. I forgot. I forgot about memory cards. How'd you forget about that? Never beat the final boss. That's always a good sign. <laughs> I've clearly got a, a nice, easy road ahead of me. Oh, no problem. Um, There's one of those things, isn't it? Of like, yeah, I know that if I'm going to do a continuous playthrough, like, oh, if you missed out on last week's Twitch, like, Twitch stream, just, I guess, fuck you. Like, you didn't win. Like, that would be a, a bad way to do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to gap it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, of course. Like, won't you help me find this treasure? Like, so she went on a gap year. Some random dude gave her a, a fucking treasure map and was like, Yes! You must go find it. She's a princess. Hasn't she got enough money as it is? Like, does she not own all of the fucking Mushroom Kingdom? And she's like, there's a treasure map. Uh, this is just a like a rich kid going to find something dumb to go do, isn't it? She doesn't need the treasure. She just wants the adventure along the way. But yes, um, there's a, like, I can't remember the exact, um, like, adapter I got or anything, but there are adapters that you can pick up for, like, I think the one I'm using right now, it cost me maybe about £20, and then it just means that it's, like, plug it into a USB, um, and it just attempts to, like, upscale it. The one thing I don't like, um, about... This version is like, right now, I've trimmed it down to try and make it 4-3 for you guys. But for some reason, it's like, oh, the, the only options are 720p or 1080p. It doesn't put it in its original resolution. It, like, stretches it out to widescreen. Um, so, the, like, the version that I'm playing on my, like, monitor that I'm looking at is, like, a little bit stretched out and a little bit blurry. And I've squeezed it back down. To make it look like it's um original aspect ratio. And speaking of which, um it looks like quietly hovering above that board. But that looks a little bit better. But yeah, like real good jumping um sub numbers lately. We are like what? Uh we're like four subs away from doing some Mario Kart nights. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch, but yeah, uh, it's been nice, like, you know, we've been trying to push the, the Twitch a little bit more, and I've been trying to make sure I do some uh, some solo streaming, and then Carl's really helping push my channel and stuff, so, yeah, it's just something we've been enjoying doing, and figured, like, hell yeah, why don't we just push it a little bit more and try and get those numbers up. 
Still nowhere close to her to partner her. We're, we're definitely a far away off there. Thing is, it's like, is it a question? Can she afford the security? I think she probably can. I think that it's more likely that she just chooses not to pay her staff. Like, you know, one of those. Peach, who's going to question it? Either that, or she's just decided I don't need to buy security staff because Mario always comes and rescues me anyway. Okay, like this is classic Nintendo game of just. Um, oh, I'm going to explain to you what a save point is. Thanks. There you go. Telling me to use the save block that's right there as well. Oh, okay. Like, where am I going? Oh, so I, I recognize the design of this character, so is this like the first part where I get Okay, so yeah, to, to very much spell this out to people, I, I know very little about this game. Um, I've seen like some pictures online, I've seen a couple of videos mentioning, like, yeah, Paid Mario's Island the Adore is like one of the greatest GameCube games, and it's obviously um, heralded as like the pinnacle in Paper Mario. So it's taken me, what, 17 years to get to it, but a friend was kind enough to, um, to lend me the disc and we're finally playing through it, but yeah. More fun, I like it. Cool. This fella. I do like the idea that the uh, the bob bombs are all just like rough and gruff sailors. You know what? Does look a little bit like Doctor Robotnik. You're not wrong. A like, weird steampunk Mario version of Doctor Robotnik. Rumpa bomb. Oh, I thought he was just going to send his little Goomba slings at it. I me. Mean, no, they're not Goomba slings, but I don't know what they are. I'm helping to, to like, helping out a Goomba. The freaky fool. Okay, so I have played Paper Mario games in the past, like, and Mario and Luigi games, so I'm, I'm, I'm presuming I'm familiar with the system. I did mess up the time, you know. Oh, I dodged it. Cool. Wait, what? Game. Uh. I'm. What have I done? What have I done? Maybe my game keypad's just decided it's not working. Give me a sec. The game still looks like it's running. Yep, there we go. My, like, literal, like, not even an old one. It's like a Smash Bros. Wii U GameCube pad. Hold left. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm hoping I will enjoy the game, but yeah, hopefully you can uh, like catch up on whatnot. But yeah, thank you very much for joining. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Star points for XP then, cool, got that.
22nd birthday of the opening. Like, legit a sea otter? Because I want to go to a sea otter's but... Like, I just beat you in a fight. Oh. Okay, I thought you were just challenging to a rematch. I'm like, nah, I've got this. I'll punish him. Oh my god. Just this, in, this one copy of a sprite just going ham on me. Like, just, just run. Just sneak away. It's fine, Mario. You're fine. Oh, we can't go on there. Just, they'll never know. They'll never know we were here. Just like, wah, wah, woo. Yeah, they absolutely dog me. Ah, to be fair, like, we're not that, that far in, um, into the stream. We're only that 15 minutes in at the moment, so it's not like we've, uh, we've missed it. That's a pretty cool thing to be live streaming, to be fair. I'll give them that. Like, I'm I'm streaming some Paper Mario 1000 years old, which is uh, pretty good, but a birthday of an otter is hard to compete with. Goombella. Oh my god, there's a University of Goom. We've all been there. Like, I can't imagine how many games I would go back to now. Like, oh yeah, I played this game as a kid. I loved it. And then I'll play... I'll play... I literally have done this in the past and, like, gone back and played them as an adult and gone... I don't remember any of this. Does that mean I only played, like, the first level or two? And for the most part, that's the case. It's like, I, I got past, you know, the first little bit of the game. That man... I just played the same part of this game over again and still loved my experience with it. Oh, oh. Treasure. oh my god! Oh! The Piantas in the background! The whole Piantas were only in Super Mario Sunshine. Also, I know it's a town, pirate town port, but like, real, real dark of Nintendo to just have a noose like sitting in the middle of um, the room. That's weird. Boss and his greeting. Oh my god, are they roughing him down in the background? Does this mean it was a trap? Oh no, okay, she was here. But then she vanished. No likely. Just maybe got stolen away from um, at Toadsworth by just those Mafia Piantas. Um, also, I meant to check, like, I, I know I haven't got background music on in the game, because, like, I assumed uh, there'd be the Paper Mario music coming through, but I don't know if it's just me. Is the, the game audio a bit quiet? Because it belted out at me when I turned it on. So I've turned it on quite a bit. Oh, okay. So he's just like, right. Uh, I think did lose the princess immediately. However, Mario, you're here. This sounds like your kind of job. You fucking deal with this shit. So like, thanks, that would work. He's just going to be sitting in the inn enjoying a cup of tea while we go on our actual adventure. Just drop on in. Oh, Paper Mario with the puns. feel like we're going to get a lot of them. <laughs> Already noticed a couple. A wee bit quiet. Cool, we can turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure there's like, um, if you look at like uh, 
Maybe we put it up to like that? How does that sound for people? You need the music a bit more now. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure if you look up like um, a summer games or some games from Quick of this, it's like, yeah, we can beat the game in an hour and a half and just blitz through everything. Looks like a game from. But I can't believe that Mario Bros. movie ever got signed off on. Like, clearly no one in Nintendo give it a flying foot. But they turned to, like, they turned Toad into, like, just a guy in a leather jacket with a weird haircut. Yoshi was an abomination. The Goombas, I should say, were, like, fucking killer crocs with tiny heads. It was so weird. Very specific that like you know that all all about this one treasure. Goombella joined the park. Prime. Okay. So she's our little uh, scout, I guess. Presuming that she can she can give us a lot of insight and then. In battle, maybe she can tell us, like, weaknesses of enemies and stuff. Goomba the Goomba. Okay, cool. I mean, no, no, no. Like, self-promotion is very much coming in and going, like, here, go buy or watch or whatever my product, like... Fine to mention that you're writing something, and well done, like, writing a novel is impressive, I'll give you that, like, in the past I've tried just, you know, bits of creative writing by myself here and there, and actually finishing something is definitely, definitely a very hard thing to do, so congrats. There we go, towel. Just snitch on fucking enemy. I like it. Mm, that's true, but like, you know, don't, no, yeah, by the time Mario Bros. movie came out, there was probably quite a lot of bad, like, NES, um, movie ports that were just awful, but at the same time, like, you know, you look back at, say, like, a really bad video game, or, you know, video game of a movie, like, take, for example, the obvious really bad one, like, E.T., and they didn't have much to work with. Yes, it was an awful game. But it's very hard on like an Atari to make a video game of like the movie E.T. like the, a spe Steven Spielberg classic. I can tell you the crown. Ah, the crown one is Prime Gaming. Like you got the star being um, up the subscriber one, and then the, the crown is Prime Gaming one. Oh my god. Don't come in. Oh god, that's rough. Losing a contact lens. Uh, at least when I lose my glasses, you can just pick them back up off the floor. It's hard finding them, but you can't really. Oh, oh no! No, you, you told me not to come any further, didn't you? Oh god, that is rough though. Like, but... Can you really put a contact lens back in your eye after you've dropped it on the ground? Is that she wasn't sticking that back in her face, was she? Okay. Okay, we'll go save for you, Kundala. Strange, um... Like, strange thing for an RPG. Do not let you name any of your characters. 
I know it's Nintendo, but um, yeah, that's a strange, you know, like Final Fantasy. Every time someone joins your party or every time like you get a summon or something, it's always like, oh, would you like to name this thing? Especially when it's like a pirate town and they just say the word One Piece, I'm like, oh, One Piece, I like One Piece. Where's Luffy at? But, you know, they meant just the words in One Piece. Who the fuck is this guy? Flavio. 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 Steal a skull line. Isn't it upstairs? Cool. I'm just not right now. Uh, no, I'm okay. I've, I've still got like full HP and everything. We're all good. <laughs> like, I've not heard that one before, just naming your Pokemon, no. But I've often done it where, you know, you always decide, like, a theme for Pokemon. Um, so, like, oh, you know, a fun one is always, I'm going to name all of my uh, my Pokemon after food. So, you know, you, you just get, like, oh, um, what do you call this, Ekans? Oh, I call my Ekans Linguini. Or noodle, or something like that. I always did enjoy that. Good idea. Saying names. Yeah, that's true. A bit more like on the nose than saying names, because at least they try, you know. They put like, instead of... Carrot is like Kakura or whatever. Uh, just straight up like, like no, I'm gonna name them. Uh, is he just drinking out the stream pack? Oh my god. I mean, I'll keep it a secret for you, mate, but. You ain't gonna get very hot, far in hiding if you just run up to everybody and then you eat and go, Oh hey, I've got a big secret. I was a criminal. Well, you're not a very good one, are you? They always favour me. No, they always favour the house. They always favour the house, that's all they make money. Nothing can kill a cockroach, but my man. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know when, um... I don't think, like, back in the... Game Boy games of like Pokemon Yellow, they might have. Um, I'm not sure they they blocked like swear words and cuss words and blurs and stuff by then. Um, but yeah, like they definitely do nowadays. There's some that I've tried to get away with where it's like I've just been making a silly name and it's like no, that's got ass in it. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess if you put those two words together, it does have ass in it. Half muckle. Oh. 
Yeah, that is lame. That is lame. Give me more. I want more coins. Maybe you run away and like mess up. No? Hold on, we're gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go try snatch his kneecaps in. Mario's pissed off. And whether he's. Just like. This where his little hideout is. It is! Every last one of them, alright. He's like, yeah, yeah, I did steal your money. But at the same time, don't look at me like that. Everybody in here is a thief. It's like, yeah, but you're the thief that stole me. Stole me, my money. I don't really care if everybody else is like a thief as long as they don't thief on me. All rogue, all Goombella to be fair. Oh, it's a fortune teller. It's like, what does the shine above the door look like? On the other side of the table. Let's go for it. Let's have our fortune teller. I love doing this in video games where they always like, have the fortune tellers. Something is going to happen to you at some point. It's like, yeah, I know. Ooh, I don't have enough shine sprites, but when I do, I can power up my clients. or potentially myself. Okay. I can take you. I don't want to pay 10 points. There might be another thief on the other side of that wall. You want Goombella can do it. Not gonna let Goombella attack then. Ah. Make a defense. Ooh. Okay, this this guy's tougher than us all. Maybe I shouldn't pick a fight with everybody I see. Oh. We've got a helmet on, I should protect this one. This guy really doesn't want to go down. Push Mullock a little bit further, but is it that he's meant to teach him? He's meant to teach us that we can't always win a fight. Can we? Yeah. I mean, thank you for the bit. I'm afraid we can't eat uh, and nobody can. But uh, I guess that means it's, it's looking good. Cool. And now, I've learned my lesson. Let's not go around with that guy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. My last thing, I'm now going to go to the inn to pay to rest up 
then pay the guard. Holy shit. Well, there we go. Thank you so, so much. Like, I don't, I don't have a moment of, like, um... I should have, like, just 20 Scott Pilgrims just come up and celebrate on the screen. Like, yeah, we hit our sub goal, so thank you so much. And that means that, like, tomorrow I will tweet out, like, you know, some plans. Ask people when they want to uh, when they want to do it. So we'll be doing Mario Party Deluxe. Probably a couple of streams uh, of just playing with viewers and stuff, getting people in. Yeah, like, it was looking really tantalizing, I'm not going to lie. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that sorted out. As I say, like, I'll probably post it on, like, Twitter and um, I'll post it, like, you know, in my Discord and stuff like that. Tomorrow we can get some things sorted. I can ask people, like, how they want to do it and everything. But, yeah, we can um, get some Mario Kart Deluxe Nights on the go. That's awesome. There we go. Yeah, if you anyone in chat is wondering, I like, join that Discord. You'll get um, announcements for any of the the Twitch streams I do and stuff like that. Um, it's just like if you wanna have a way to just get alerted to my, my stream times and stuff, and not like follow me on Twitter or anything or anything like that. Yeah, feel free to join the Discord. And there's like other things that like you can see pictures of uh, people with pets and stuff. I'll pay. I'll pay. It's not the same guy. I've got to have a compelling reason to be here. Good God. You know you've walked into a bad part of the neighborhood. It's like all of a sudden, every bird, every word just locked down. It's like, oh no. to get in here. You. Yeah, I know I can pass, but what for? Okay, well, at least we found the professor. And no wonder you can't see through those boxes. Can't see your eyes through them. It's like, yeah, okay, okay. You, you just about remembered who she is. Mario. It's like, I'm the, I'm the face of video games. I'm Mr. Video Game Alive, you know. I'm Mario. Like, what, what is he doing? Not knowing. He's even famous in this world. <laughs> survey was more recognisable than Mickey Mouse at this point. Obviously Disney are, are way, way bigger than uh, the Nintendo are, but like, you know, it must have, it must have been Pikachu, I guess. Because Pokemon's just like the biggest thing in the world, but uh, yeah, they don't tend to use Mickey Mouse as much in like, you know, marketing and stuff anymore. Legendary treasure. 
Okay, fair enough. If it's a legendary treasure, maybe I'll let uh, Peach get away with it as well. He's off to go find it. Okay. Oh god. Others just claim it's an empty chest. Yeah, that's why I really wanted to um to just leave like my my Spotify music, like my video game remix playlist off today is just like Yeah, the music is just always like really fun and unique in these kind of games. A thousand year door, okay. Got it. So we need to find the one piece, but we need to like collect everything else up. get to the door and then the door will use the map to show us where the crystals are to then go back to the door and use the crystal stars to open the door. It's like, yeah, cool. Mario does have the magical map. No, don't give him it, Mario. To be fair, we could beat we could beat this guy. We could have this one in a fight. Not the Cooper. But I, I know we could have this one in a fight. Can't even see it. Yeah, like please take us to this magical door. Are you not gonna show us the way? Oh, okay, <laughs> so we jump in there. Yeah, oh god, beat the contract. Uh, I probably do, but... I'm, I'm just gonna make sure I know. I'm only going to be playing this like a couple hours a week, so I'm going to make sure I know what these are. Okay. Oh, so this is just... Yeah, so I do know what This is just like what we've been doing anyway. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling. I just want Mario one more time. Oh, you can do like a counter. See, I didn't know that. That's quite useful. Ah, uh, okay. The timing on them is a lot stricter. That makes sense then. That risk reward. Uh, oh, I've got it. I've got it. I'm glad that I did. Um, I did that just to learn about the super guard. But I'll see how my timing goes with it. Maybe the first time. Um, the first few times I'll just try and like dodge rather than parry. Get that. Uh, maybe get that dodge timing down a bit more. I love these scene transitions. Uh, that was a really fun one. Keep me from across the table. Like, everyone's really interested in not being across the table. 
Malovely? Oh, Malovely. I should have. I, I should have seen that one. Is that Malovely? God, my God. Paper Mario getting me. Oh no no, we don't need we don't need That's very true, that's very true. Maybe um I need to come up with some like good custom rewards for the Paper Mario playthrough. Like if um if anyone in chat can think of like a better way to interact with um with the game, like maybe like, oh, make me attack, or make me take damage, or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but obviously, yeah, I didn't think about that. The stop for ten seconds is like this turn-based battle, anyway. Unless you use it literally, like as I get attacked by something and it times it correctly. Yeah. So if you do have any ideas, or anyone else in chat has a good idea for like ways that you can use your your um. My channel points to, to mess about with the game and let me know. I don't know because like I've got a desk in front of me so I could realistically just put it down and play like that and when it's just a realistically I only need one hand to just be able to press like a left stick in A and B. Yeah, because I'm wondering like if I try and keep it on camera here. Yeah. But try this battle with like one hand, I'm sure it'll be a Maybe that, that could work is like maybe at different levels could be like pre call three commands or the last one you could pre call a command. Obviously, I didn't really need to show it off that long, but uh, maybe turn off the monitor for like 60 seconds might be a bit long because I might just lose an entire fight. But I suppose, like, if it's because it doesn't seem to be on like um, any like you know timer based system, it's just back and forth. But realistically, that 60 seconds would just be like what all the enemy attacks and then wait in. I'm not, I'm, I guess that's how it would work. It doesn't seem to be um, time employed. Oh, cool. So you can, yeah, I think that was in all the Paper Mario games. You can know, attack them from behind or jump on them or whatever, and then you get a. Uh, First strike. Oh, okay, we're just leaving the professor. 
maybe it's cliffs like I wonder now if like we stripped in stuff like strict in healing for a battle. Um yeah, pre-calling commands, stuff like that. So maybe I can mess around with that before like next um like the next stream of this next Thursday and just do some like play through uni commands for Tate and Ray and yeah, it doesn't really uh, play too well to stuff that I've got for like oh yeah, stop for ten seconds, it's like Hey, okay, well that's just not making a move, is it? <laughs> okay, that counts. Counting the first strike. Oh! <laughs> just when it's just over Joomba, it's like, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All time. Yeah, first strike. Death. Oh no, it's time for Do we need a poop shot, right? Yeah, there we go. You can't get me up here! <laughs> Literally just stood on top of the box like, you can't get me! Like this was gonna be a weird optional pass. Doesn't seem to be just yet. These little guys have been in top until the baby. Okay, so I only get the attack on the third. The spinning end. Fast Beyblades, that's what they're yeah. Weird well, to think that how how old this game is, because it's like, what, 2004? Like, how many years was this game before yeah. Fidget Spinners existed? Yeah. I don't know if Fidget Spinners is one of those things that's been around for ages, and so popular um, a few years back, or whether like uh, they just, someone made them. Six when they, yeah. I mean, presuming like just there's probably um, people watching this either live or on YouTube and that that are just younger than this game, which always freaks me out when it's like a GameCube game. And like Wii games and stuff, where I'm just like, oh yeah, like yeah. those. The, these games, are like, you know, they're, they're quite old, but they're not that old. It's like, oh no, 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 this game's four years old. <laughs> Fair enough. Black key. I thought that was just a. Uh, Silhouette. For like where a key is going to spawn when you do something. Like, like, you know when you hit one of those switches or something. Oh, the key is now a real key. Oh my god, I'm lean. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, he's just giving up on his way. But does that mean that he can hear the box as well? Becoming a real game. I mean... I'm not really convinced by a guy trapped in a box telling me that we need to let him free. But we do have the key. Oh yeah, fool. Genuinely okay. Is that... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Occur. I genuinely thought we'd just like open some optional box that would absolutely just ruin the place. It was like, I've cursed you. You can't heal anymore. <laughs> no. Okay. Has he turned me in? Has he cursed me? be able to turn into a paper aeroplane but only on specific paths. Uh, yeah I get it, it's terrible. Might return to normal. That dies through. It could be really painful. That's the question is like how painful is it to be folded up when you made out of paper? Like, is it awful or is it just fine? Because like, obviously if we got folded up into a paper airplane, like, well a person airplane, that would be rough, but paper it might just be good. Sweet. <laughs> oh, the thousand year door is just chilling right here. So, okay, finding the, the thousand year door isn't the problem. Every fucker knows where that is. It's just finding the actual uh, the map and then the crystal stars. In it. Just before where you reach the kid, yeah. You, yeah, you mentioned like the uh, the paper airplane bit. Blast it, Aster. So, uh, Gorge966, thank you for something with fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting it going. What's going on? I'm being enveloped by this two-dimensional sprite. No! Eating Mario's face. Okay, so that's where one star is. The big old cat. Uh... Right, cool. I mean, I imagine this would be a linear game anyway, but was kind of hoping that it would just be the... Like, you'll, um, you'll just get all of them marked on the map and then they go one by one. How powerful is Dora the Explorer's map? I've never really watched Dora the Explorer. I've just seen like Dora the Explorer memes and like 
back in the day when my little cousin was young, like have it on in the back. Well, I we'd have it on in the background while she was there uh, watching it. But yeah, I don't know how powerful her map is. Oh yeah. Okay, thank you, game. Uh, here I was expecting, like, Dora the Explorer Law to come out. Yeah, the wish. That's fair. That's fair. God. I don't think um, Carl and I have checked to see if the Dora the Explorer wiki is getting any good for wiki. <laughs> I mean, isn't Swiper the one that, like, literally just is a thief, yeah, and it's like, you can't trust someone called Swiper. Their name is literally a pun on thief. I can now perform what we know as a special move. Because Nintendo games do this a lot, and like, I, I haven't noticed as much with other video games, but like, um, yeah, Nintendo games especially seem to do this thing of the characters in the world being able to teach you tutorials like, well I know that Mario must have acquired a special move, so hang on, what? What's a special move? Well I don't know, but I'm gonna teach Mario it right now. It's like, okay. But, um I really remember it back in Twilight Princess. Where they like always said to Link in the tutorial, it's like, oh yeah, um, so you can press A to do this. I'm not really sure what that means, but that's what it says here. And it's like telling you to press A on your Wiimote, or like, you need to, s to swing the Wiimote left and right to perform this uh, attack. I have no clue what a Wiimote is, and it's just like Nintendo just doing all those, doing those weird meta jokes. Okay, so it's just restoration room. One SP. Gonna keep going. Okay then. Okay. We've only got one star power at the moment for our special. Oh, that's what the audience is there for. Always seen um, like videos of this game, as I said, like but I've not played it, so I've always wondered if the audience had anything to actually do or not. If you get the audience excited, you'll build a more star bar. So we're basically trying to get the crowd high. Just those those kids in school where no matter what when they see anyone like squaring up to each other they just just quick straight to the battle it's like fight 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 they're just trying to beat up this professor who can't see anything that is true though if you just start a street like a street fight the more exciting it is, the more people will turn on.
That's the start of her power section. That's a pretty impressive power section. To be Maybe I'll keep it in the uh, in the little list of characters. Probably. I was gonna say, like I, for a second, I didn't think the um, the crowd was gonna get more hype then. But yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, like I was probably on the other end of that, so I, mean, I can tell you, it didn't really make you very hard to beat me up. I was like, you know, a small like, ginger kid with glasses and a bit chubby, so like, yeah, I, I didn't, uh, did not be great. I was like, you know, the, the prime little target for the bull. And I, I can tell you now, it's not a very hard move. Is that, if anything, uh, walking up to like, the biggest guy in the class and starting on them, that's the ball I move. That's the move that you want to prove yourself with. Is that in prison, isn't it? It's like, oh yeah, go find the biggest, scariest guy in prison and beat the crap out of them and that's the first thing you should do. But yeah, yeah. Like prison rules. Prison rules and school rules aren't dissimilar. Really weird for cool mechanic. But it's not yeah, not just an audience, but then they um they also throw crap at you, but they could throw nice things at you. That I don't know, but I've watched some football matches where like, people have lobbed money and specifically coins at football players and hit them in the head and um it didn't seem like they were throwing them in a nice way, I'm not gonna lie. I was just there trying to not worry about it. I got, I got in some fights in school, but yeah, that's uh, that's not the best feeling if someone just like gets up. <laughs> it's just like I do not care about this show. Um, I don't know how bad it is, other than like talking to him about uh, just you know things to do with being an editor on the channel, like scheduling videos and stuff. But uh, especially with lockdown and stuff, that's pretty much all. Uh, Brad and I have like an editor's chat that we've spoken in, but we generally just use that for business purposes and like getting on with stuff. We haven't really uh, had actual chats in there really. Okay. Obviously, we, we do want to make sure. Um, we do want to make sure that, like, yeah, you know, one of those things. We just we want to make 
go grab the princess, but at the same time, I think getting the stars is more important. We need to open the door. Is the doors the title of the game? It's not Paper Mario on Princess Peach. Paper Mario for a thousand years. Uh, uh, you can feel free to like ask caffeine related stuff if you you are pondering and wondering. I obviously don't want it to become uh, anything that's like the whole Twitch stream or anything, but you know if there is anything that people uh, want to, to ask, like you can feel free to. I just obviously would um, would say something if like my streams became too related to Fabri. Um, but the first video I edited, I believe, was. I think the first one I recorded and edited was the Wiki Weekends on the Fire Festival. I want to say the Hulk, like the second one I did, but I might be completely off on that one. Could have been the first one. I'll tell you right now. Got all the, not got all the files and stuff, but I make sure I, I just keep all the, uh, the thumbnails as like a little bit of, like the final videos on the thumbnails as like just a bit little bit of a backup. Yeah, so that's that's right. So yeah, we've got the, the wiki for the fire festival first, then the Hulk, and then Batman, and then Hello Kitty. So you know, it didn't take as long to swerve off in some way. I uh, know. I'll figure out. How to... Yeah, I'll. I'll equip my my badges. I don't want to go through another tutorial. Uh, I know it's the start of the game, but yeah, there's a. Wait. Did it? Did it do that thing? Yeah. Cool. And then it's like, oh yeah, do, do, are you sure? And I think that it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Don't worry. I'll be fine. But it did that Nintendo thing of like, swap them around, I think. But it's like, oh, are you sure that you don't want to um, do this thing? Yes. I'm sure. And then when you click I'm sure, it's actually no, I'm not sure because they've swapped it around. from here. Uh, no, I haven't seen the latest one yet. Not seen that. Probably assume watch it like tomorrow or something, but just had a busy couple of days trying to sort things out. Yeah, no, <laughs> maybe I should just like put like the notification in whether I have or have not. Yeah, that's the thing is, I was about to say I remember what um, what it was, but I haven't seen it yet. And then I was like, no, I don't remember. I've been told and now forgotten again what the premise of the, uh, the episode was. Hopefully I'll be able to watch it tomorrow. Technical trample. Oh, I can't flee this fight. Oh, God. Okay, so I've got a sweet tree. So it's probably better for me to, um, to like a lower health and then make sure. 
find the squiggle mine for your boat I am. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of see what you mean. Like, I don't think nowadays it would be because it's quite a simple design. Like, Maybe this could be a starter Pokemon. Obviously not sidewise, but see the blooper, especially nowadays being like too simple to play. From like maybe Gen 3 or 4, like, they definitely won't get more complex with the design. Not not ragging on them though, because like, I hate that whole thing of like, oh yeah, you know, Gen 1 designs are only the good designs and not the bad ones. Like, no. Oh my god. Did that Goomba go get the assist with, like, the lighting of the stage? <laughs> what a hero. I think he was flat by his Ah, I see. Ah, okay, no. God, that's going to be tough to get there. I start doing the hammer. The timing on the hammer is definitely more than the Oh, I was really expecting like some kind of a um, blinding effect. You know what? Awful. I mean, there is a Mario game with the Labo VR option. Um, oh. But it's like similar in the sense of. I think it's just in the same way that. Um, that's terrifying. Squid Jump. Yeah, because there's, there's like Breath of the Wild has it. Um, Mario Odyssey, I want to say, has it. And then, like, Super Smash Bros. has it as well. We're just starting chapter one. Oh my god. Um, yeah, like, there's a few ones where it's just play the game, but you have a different perspective and you can look around. Obviously, that's not, um, that's not ideal. I imagine, like, a proper VR Mario game is essentially, uh, Astro Bot Rescue Mission. And then there's like Astro's Playroom is the one on the PS1. They always get those two confused thing ones. Yeah, kind of like um I can see that that being like the, the Mario 3D of like just, Yeah, camera's a little bit back, you're controlling your character in front of you, platform in and then you can look around the world. Yeah, Kate's doing well. He's a uh, pretty much as usual. Like, we'll train him on more stuff. Well, being cute little sausage. He's fully grown at least, like as far as we can tell. Because um, he's he's been roughly the same size for like the last few months. But we think you know he's he's over a year old. He's probably hit his um, longest smallest form. That looked a lot like Valu from the Wind Waker, the dragon that sits across the uh, top of um, Dragon Rooster Island. See, like, uh, I would have had, like, a pet bird would be cool. I don't know what I'd call it, but, like, um, really just want, like, a cockatoo. Specifically, like, you know, obviously, I see the cockatoos on the Mimi internet videos and I'm like, I want one that's gonna be an asshole, but also one that will bop along to metal music. And I know it's very unlikely to happen if I got one in real life, but god damn, if I got a cockatoo, I'd want, I'd want it to be like that.
Oh. Okay, so the that in the background isn't just a it can hurt enemy. Oh god, why did it? That's true. See if you've got like Moltres and Arf too now. But okay, cool. Where's that Darth? But if it's like Moltres and Fred like that, that does make Fred seem a bit weird. It's like, well, why Fred? I mean, if you had a guy challenge you to a battle and then he just walked square up to your face and started charging up a hammer swinging with a hammer the size of his own body, I'm not sure whether I'd react or not. You might just freeze. But I just don't know what to do. Like, what do I do with this opening gambit? I'm just running up with a six foot armor. I'd hope I'd like it. That's the thing is the flight or fight mechanic. Like, would you hopefully just run? Or I know I can take it. I can take it. Yeah. Well, I think like, that is a genuine thing. Isn't it? There is flight or fight, but a lot of the time um, in stressful or scary situations, like people just freeze and don't know what to do. That's when it becomes more like a turn-based RPG. Run! You, like, you got out of your little zone of superiority. I want a hammer that's like gonna hit multiple targets rather than doing more damage. We don't need the damage right now. Heal. Try to win over the crowd. That's not bad. The crowd should be switch enabled. That would be awesome. If Nintendo could actually do that, that would be fantastic. That would love that if like everyone in chat could help you out. But then obviously you could be a dick and then just be like, no. I'm gonna sneak backstage and drop a light on them. I think that's a. Um, obviously, I can never expect this game to have it, but it's like. I know that it limits the game in terms of like longevity. Not longevity, like how long um, the game continues to like be relevant um, and you know like because okay you could have it switch enabled but then what happens in five ten years when the switch enable goes off or you can't switch stream anymore like twitch as a platform is dead or something like that Can't get that right now. Thank you. Because there is the temptation to be like, nah, I can, I can make that. But at the same time, yeah, like, it seems silly to uh, limit your creativity and options with stuff like, you know, what stupid stuff can we do with Twitch integration? Like, well, well, if we do this, then we won't be able to do this in 10 years' time. So, like, no, fuck it. Do what you can now. Like, what can you do right now? It's like the same argument, like, oh well we're not going to put online multiplayer in this game because in 10 years time we might have to disable it. Like, no, fuck it. We don't do that, do we?
Thank you very much. The hair is like nice and fresh today. Um, so thank you. It means a lot. So, just change the color. Well, that's that's the um, that's the weird thing about Switch is like no matter which game you play, almost almost any game you play is on brand new or super super, super niche. There's pretty much always that experience of well, one person in chat. Like, I have no clue what the hell is this game, but then there's also the other end of the spectrum of like, well, I've played this game eight thousand times through. Uh, I'm not saying you have specifically, but yeah, like you always get those the opposite ends of the two spectrums. Of well, I've played this game a lot, but another person, I don't know what this game is, I've never heard. I have not actually tried a Super God yet, I'm bad enough at the, uh, the dodging from the looks of it. Um, maybe I should try a Super God just to see if it can get the time. Because that seems like a super easy yeah, my timing on just the dodges alone isn't very good at the moment. <laughs> okay, that was great. That that was great, I'll give them that. Like, oh my god. Oh. I was expecting it to just like fold over and be like, yeah, there's the bridge. Oh, just little touches like that. What make these games jump back? And I love the fact that it's like a little, um, little flip note. But I do, yeah, that's the thing is, I haven't really played much of Paper Mario, but I do adore the idea of the crazy different things that you can do with them. That's really cute. Getting just the CR hype going. I didn't realise it was like um, for a charity or anything, but that's awesome. Raising like, like money for a wild box. I'm all about that. Life. It's called hook tail as well. Does it literally have a hook on its tail as similar to Valu? Like, is this Nintendo just giving a nod to themselves? But Wind Waker was like 0203, I think. Too fucking right, assert dominance, Mr. Mayor. Whatever. People will tell me, like, pink and purple hairs. Fuck them. Fuck the haters. I'll take it, right. Why not? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Of, um... I'm not sure about other Paper Mario games, like, I think, what, like, Paper Mario Color Splash, you literally got, like, a, a generic Goomba as your, your partners and stuff, but I think a lot of them have basically got partners that your entire party becomes full of, like, a Goomba and a Bob Arm and a Cooper or a Paratrooper or whatever, or a Boo, and it's, yeah, the... The horde of enemies that you kill and murder as Mario don't necessarily hate Mario. But then again, um, you know, in the RPG games, like how often do Mario and Bowser just team up because they need to settle their differences and... Yeah. Please tell me we can just recruit General White and stop him being, like, stuck on his own.
the next Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, that one. What happens in um, Super Mario RPG? I played that like... I don't want to think about how many years ago that was now, but it was when I was an adult at some point. Um, and yeah, like in, in Super Mario RPG, uh, Under the Seven stuff, it was the... It's like, oh no, we, yeah, we need to team up against these people that have taken my kingdom because Bowser's like... There's only one person that can try and capture Peach and take over the Mushroom Kingdom, and that's fucking me. So he gets really pissed off and joins Mario. Yeah, Super Paper Mario played a bit of. Um, that one turned me off because I didn't realise how little an RPG it would, um, it would be. It was very, like, very much a platformer where you swap perspectives, and the swap perspectives things were cool, but... It, um, it wasn't being there. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome if, like, Goombell um, wasn't actually friendly to us fighting their time in the background. Yes, Mario, trust me. I don't know, no way, it's like... Bowser just calls her on a little phone, like, execute. What? What? No, nothing. Don't worry. That's the thing, is, like, all the Paper Mario games canon, or they're just canon to their own world? Because if they're canon, some weird crap goes on in there. isn't even that bad a looking. Come on, it's fine. Poopy coo. Yeah, I am fucking my that goddamn. I probably am here to to challenge Hooktail. And from what it seems is Hooktail is the boss that we have to kill and then we'll get the, the crystal star from this location. How do you try to politely enter a garden? I am. I am here to rob you of all your goods. Why would you leave the door open then? So brutal. I take whatever you want, just don't take the photo of me and my wife. I know, I know a fuck tale. Yep, you got it, yep, cool. Oh, I did, I did want to accept a reward to be fair, but oh well. Apparently we're a good egg now. Murphy, yeah. No, 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 Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, just don't, Mario, don't tell this old poor Cooper that you're Mario. You've murdered probably just generations of his family. Uh, please, please don't tell him that you're Mario. Need a stone key. And the schwonk for. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can get a hotel. We'll be fine. They're different Cooper. I mean, they might be cousins or something there.
try. Oh, oh cool, you got a knife. Oh god. Um. Oh, cool. I don't know I don't know if it was quite ahead of his time, but he's definitely Yeah. He's definitely rocking some um some decent tech going on back in 2004 as well. Like emails just on the go in the middle of the village. There's some like little towns that I go to now where I still can't get any signal on my phone. went over. Been a while. It's like, ah, I don't know if, it, if he does this. Oh, okay. He's the gatekeeper. Oh, I thought, I thought something, um, a bit more happened with, oh, okay. How's this guy going to be our friend? I'm not going to ignore you, Coops. Coops, come back. Coops. I want you to join my party. Become a member of my crew, Coops. Oh, hello. It's rumbling. Can't wait to see it. Okay. Okay. G should get in 2004. Yeah, like, this is all before getting 5G, you know, vaccines injected into you for free. Man, they would be the most expensive things if they were real. Like, if I could actually just get 5G on the go for free, like, yeah. Coops. Come on. What if I steal a photo for him? I steal his possessions, will he come with me? WAP was something very different. Very different to what it is now. If I... Ooh, maybe I've talked to this girl that was calling my Coops. I thought that would be the trigger to like... I thought that would be the trigger to then go talk back to him and he's like, oh wait what? My girlfriend said I was an asshole. Okay. 
go talk to Just like if I talk to the old man, I get the old man to just say like, Old man, can you go have a word with Coop? Girlfriend's a bit upset. We want him on our party. Let's take him to the swamp quarters. Oh yeah, we've all been there. Just like the Orange Wednesday plan. Um, yeah, well, if you gave me the dolphin plan, is that I don't care what you give me. Just give me the plan that has me on, on like, two for one on Wednesdays. Does anyone, you know, not know what that is yet? Just... That two for one code on a Wednesday for you. Cinema viewing trip. Like, whatever gives me that, I want it. Oh my god, okay. Why are you just murdering people in the audience? <laughs> oh, Apparently that toe was just not nice. Mario just decided this toe needs to be ended today. Yeah, I can imagine that, um, like, that would be annoying because, I, you know, when I work in restaurants, the amount of people that you come in, just like, Oh yeah, I want to use this promotion. In fact, well, this promotion isn't valid at the moment, or this promotion ended three months ago. I know it did not want to use it now. I want to speak to you manager. Like, All right, they're gonna tell you the same thing I've just told. But yeah, sure. I don't want to be told by yet another person you can't do it. I mean, I presume, like, they were, like, just in Xbox all there was nothing to do, right? Like, that, that's kind of what But if they had shit to do, then I get it. Yeah, you know what? I want my money. Just that thing of, like, I like the username. Uh, yeah. Just trying to get people to not call me my username. Like, just I'm Lucas. Uh, yeah, the, the, the name is just for like the channel, not not to be used by as me. But I do like both. Thank you very much. Yeah. I get Luke or Lucas, yeah. I, I that's fine, I just prefer Lucas. Uh, I, I can't glare at them because, like, um, Luke is my actual name, but I've just gone by Lucas for that one. It's like a nickname that I just prefer it. But I can't, I can't have a go at people because technically they're not one. Uh, yeah. Quite hard to like um go on the one syllable name, so that's probably something I appreciate. Like I hear people get you know, they like anyone with a longer name, it's like people will try to shorten it in any way they can find. They just call me by my name. And generally speaking, most people that I know that don't like their longer name have already found a nickname that they like and go by that anyway. <laughs> the 
some not just weird things in the middle. People seem to find it necessary to show people things. Oh, okay, cool. I managed to pull off the camera. Oh god, no, no, no! Okay, they're telling me to get on with it. I will. This is the only way I found a way to do that. It's true, so... That does that. Oh god. I mean, I... There we go. We can talk. We can Oh, okay. I thought we'd go back and forth. Okay, I think next battle I might just need to um to jump in and use the like, whatever power that I've got, the sweet treat, was it? Whatever the star power one I've got. Get some HP in. FP not MP. We can just type up the crowd, it's fine. Ooh, that was media. Just have to go for it. There we go. When the opening gambit was, um... You know what, appeal. Again. I'm gonna get a triple poison mushroom, it's not a bad thing. Never know. Never ever know. I know you're in peril, it's fine, Mario. There we go, see? Two stars. Let's hope for a third. That's a bit of a shame. Big star points, but Mario is regretting his life decisions. Just... Uh, Mario's got 100 points. But that's a life up, right? No. No. Let's swap these, these around. Yeah, there we go. Mario's dead. Oh, God. How long ago did 
he'll save. Oh. Yeah, F indeed. I think, uh, I think I might be off on that note as well, because this was a little while ago. Ooh. Uh, so I'll tell you what, before next stream, I'll get us back to where we were when we just died. And then I'll like save it and put it there because oh god, bars were up. I was like, an hour twelve. I've been streaming for like an hour fifty. Why well, don't fancy going through like the last half hour's worth of the stream again on stream? This kind of pointless. So, uh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Well, there was uh, there was no auto saves. I am not used to. The lack of an autosave, I will learn my lesson hopefully for next time. But yeah, thank you everyone for joining and uh, as I say on like my Twitter and on my Discord and stuff, I'll uh, hit up a post tomorrow about what people want to do with like the Mario Kart stream or streams. Um, but yeah, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Club Goal has been hit so I will pull that stuff out um, tomorrow and hopefully like in Maybe a couple of weeks, prepare it in advance, we can get people out for that, but yeah. Thank you very much um, for watching, and yeah, I may, may check out that door or wiki right there. But yeah, I will um, potentially be back tomorrow night playing a game with Carl, I'm not sure, we haven't figured that out yet, but I, I might be back tomorrow night for another stream, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. <laughs>